And we continue on ESPN West Palm tonight, driven by Palm Beach Toyota JMP with you. This weekend was a big weekend to celebrate baseball with the Hall of Fame inductions. Uh, Six players slash managers getting in, but uh, of course one of the major stories uh, involving baseball uh, has been the sad uh, passing of Hall of Famer Tony Gwynn recently uh, due to... uh, mouth cancer and uh joining us now on the metro pcs hotline uh he is an oral surgeon with palm beach gardens medical center it is dr andrew slavin dr slavin how are you today i'm doing well thank you very much um first things first um i i would suspect that mouth cancer oral cancer uh is something that not everybody is super familiar with so w- what are the things that we need to know about what Tony Gwynn suffered from and and what we, unfortunately, could suffer from? Well, you know, it's very interesting. Tony, unfortunately, succumbed to a disease process, which is a cumulative uh, process from many, many years of smokeless tobacco. And smokeless tobacco, because you think you're not lighting up, um, gives you a false sense of security when, in fact, it's a very, very dangerous uh, uh, source of tobacco and nicotine and the harmful effects of, of those that a lot of young people really get into when they play baseball and other sports. And uh, even in high school, it seems like a really cool thing to do. You know, there really is no safe form of tobacco. Believe it or not, in smokeless tobacco, of which there's a few different forms, there's 28 different chemicals um, that have found, been found to cause cancer, mouth cancer specifically. And um, in those, uh, there's even uh, polonium-210, uh, which is a radio, radioactive element that's found in the fertilizer that they use for tobacco. And there's, in addition to the 28 chemicals that are in smokeless tobacco, there's approximately 3,000 different chemicals, if you can believe that, 3,000 different chemicals in tobacco. And, um, you know, the tobacco industry has, has done a great job in, in hooking, hooking uh, people on, on uh, cigarettes and hooking people on smokeless tobacco. Right. And um, it has this effect where it's a constant irritant uh, chemically to the tissues in the mouth, and eventually uh, the tissues in the mouth get to a point where they can't heal themselves, and then it can develop into mouth cancer and then jaw cancer, which Tony Gwynn had, unfortunately. Dr. Andrew Slavin, Palm Beach Gardens Medical Center, joining us on the Metro PCS hotline. So I, I certainly know after listening to that description that there would be absolutely no way I would ever want to uh, utilize you know, any sort of smokeless tobacco, but there is the debate over whether Major League Baseball uh, should eliminate this. Uh sounds like from a medical perspective that that would probably be a wise idea i think it'd be a very wise idea I mean, we're in, you know we live in a time where we want to have less less and less regulation but um you know these young young players that are that are coming up they start they get hooked on this at a young age and they just can't stop doing it uh until they see somebody like tony gwynn that ends up with a problem that he ended up with you know, there, there's three, these 3,000 other chemicals that you have in, in spit tobacco. Uh, there's, there's even paint stripper is made of acetone. There's acetone in spit tobacco. There's ammonia in spit tobacco, which is in your toilet bowl cleaner. There's cadmium, which is in spit tobacco. Cadmium is battery acid. So, I mean, there's these chemicals that you're putting in your body, and you're supposed to be at the top of your game as far as being a professional athlete, and it's just like Russian roulette. I mean, it's it's you've got a pistol, and there's one bullet in the in the chamber, and there's one bullet in the in the revolver, and you keep spinning that, and eventually, you know, eventually somebody's immune system is going to be such that they're not going to be able to ward that off, and they're going to end up with mouth cancer. Everybody's going to get something, but you know, we've been trained as oral and maxillofacial surgeons that we want to reduce the variables. And reducing the variable, one way you can reduce that is not to use smokeless tobacco. It's really, really bad for you. I see patients in my practice every day of the week that have all different forms of precancerous lesions all the way uh, up to cancer-causing lesions in their mouth that are from smokeless tobacco. So it's not an innocent thing. It really, really is dangerous. 
I know there's no safe form of tobacco, like you said. Is there anything that you would advise for young adults, kids, adults that say, hey, you know what, I, I want the sensation of, of taking smokeless, smokeless tobacco or something to chew during games, but that is not going to kill me? Uh, gum. Chew gum. That makes sense. Yeah. Chew gum, eat sunflower seeds, find something else that will satisfy that oral craving, but definitely do not use tobacco. Tobacco is is really really one of the worst things that you can possibly use. Uh, you know, it's it's akin to to alcohol, um, which is also uh, you know a whole other subject. But I mean, aside from the cancer causing effects, it makes your your lip and your gums crack and bleed, receding gums, mouth sores, gives you bad breath, stains your teeth, all of the above. Uh, and you know, I've had. I've had teenagers that have come into my office referred by their general dentist that have been using smokeless tobacco, and, and they have changes of their mucosa, and those changes of their mucosa are precancerous in a teenager, if you can believe that. Wow. One, uh, one dip contains three to five times the amount of nicotine as one cigarette. Ten dips in a day, which is average as somebody that uses smokeless tobacco frequently, ten dips a day is equal to the same amount of nicotine in a smoker that uses 30 to 40 cigarettes per day. Can you believe that? Just just absolutely crazy. Dr. Slavin, really appreciate the insight, uh, and uh, we will talk with you soon. Thank you. I look forward to it. Have a great afternoon. 